Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. I am going to start by uh, throwing down three runes. Each of these runes is going to represent a problem, question, or concern that you may have. Um, and I will put in the, the comments below the timestamps for each of the readings that this is going to lead to. Uh, today I'm using the Grey Blum set. I don't know if it's Blum or Bloom, but uh, the Grey set that comes out with uh, with one of uh, Ralph Blum's books. So just a good ev everyday kind of set to use. Okay, so here's our three questions for this session. Uh, the first question, question number one, has to do with uh, patience and slow growth. This is Ivaz. Ivaz is the yew tree rune. Uh, it has to do with patience and slow growth, something that is slowly developing. Um, if this is your question, please go to timestamp number one for your answer. Uh, your second question today is uh, represented by Peritho. Peritho is the rune of the lot box. Um, basically, it has to do with surprises and fate and basically the revelation of something that was already there, um, but you didn't realize was there. So if your question has to do with something like that, uh, please go to timestamp number two for your answer. Question number three uh, is represented here by Dagaz. Dagaz is the rune of the dawn, the breaking of the day. Uh, it has to do with uh, basically un inarguable revelations, uh, a truth that has become revealed to you. If you have a problem, question, or concern that has to do with something like that, please go to timestamp number three for your answer. So those are your three questions, problems, or concerns. I will see you at the answers. See you in a bit. Hello, question number one. So this is the question that has to do with patient, patience and slow growth. It's uh, Ivaz, it's the yew tree rune. Um, has to do with something that is seeming to be taking a long time, or maybe it's just some growth and development thing that you've got going on. So let's see where we go with this. Uh, I'm gonna throw down a, a few runes to start with. Uh, one is going to be showing what led up to this question. One is going to be ooh, one is going to be showing what is going to help you. Uh, one is going to show what isn't going to help you, and one is going to show what your next step on the path is going to be. Okay, so it looks like you've hit a bit of a wall. Well, basically, you've come up to um, something that has basically shown itself as a major, major challenge. We have three saws here. It is reversed. This is the thorn giant gateway rune, it's it's reversed on the path line. So it looks like you've come up to something that is basically a big, big challenge for you. It's really, really hard to get over and you know that at this point getting over it is going to take a lot of patience and slow growth on your part. So things are progressing slowly and you kind of have a good idea that, that things are coming and this actually would indicate that you're not far from the, from the breakthrough. <laughs> However, right now it's hard because you're feeling the pacing is much too slow for what you want it to be. And this was a really hard moment. This is like, wow, bang, this huge, hitting this wall of this giant challenge and now you're basically slogging forward through it. So what's helping you at this point? We have Sovilo, which is the sun uh, rune. This has to do with accessing your source energy. So whatever gives you your source energy. Um, so Vilo is saying, turn to that. Uh, turn to that, get that called in, and that will help you a lot. I'm actually gonna throw a couple more runes down on this line because it is your main uh, line, and it's important. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, what I'm seeing here is the reason that this has actually helped is that this is actually connecting you to what you consider to be your comfort zone, your home space, your home uh, state of mind. This is Othala. It's the rune of the homeland. Um, it's it's in the upper upper line, so it's basically your what you consider your comfort area of your home state, <laughs> not Ohio. Um, this is actually what's feeding into your what your source energy is. So maybe even just connecting with home is part of your source energy that's helping you. But either way, you're going to be accessing what you consider to be your home feeling in, in internally, even though this is up, upright, so it actually would indicate that it was probably, it's probably home or what you consider home. 
and this is actually going to feed in to your source energy, which is going to help you continue to, to get through this long growth period of slow development. Um, what isn't going to help in this step is represented here by peritho. Peritho, as I said in the opening, has to do with uh, basically surprises, um, fate. It's it's the lot box. So something that it, it opens and it's like, oh my gosh, surprise. These are sort of, it's not reversed, so it's not necessarily un unpleasant surprises, but it's something that was unexpected and you're, that might drag you down because, you know, here you are going along following the recipe, so to speak, and you, you just, you don't want any road, road, any road blocks or speed bumps, and this is a speed bump. So you're worried about that, whether or not they actually will happen, or, or whether it's just your worry about them. That's what's going to drag you down, that's what's going to slow you down, is hitting these speed bumps, or even just worried, worrying about hitting these speed bumps. What is behind that is just this fear of chaos, the uncontrolled uncontrollables. We have uh, Hagalaz. Hagalaz is the root of the hailstorm. So it's sort of, you can't control suddenly a hailstorm is going to roll in. Um, I don't think hailstorms are necessarily going to be involved with this, but just basically the, the chaos is out there. And through the chaos, no matter how much you're planning, no matter how much you're following the, the steps, you might hit a roadblock that comes out of nowhere, basically. But that was already there, ultimately. I mean, the, the tree doesn't jump out of out of nowhere and hit your car. You're kind of the tree might surprise you, but the tree was already there. So if this starts to drag you down, bring yourself back up to where okay, I'm going to connect with what makes me feel at home, and let the energy from that help me move forward on this path of pa of patience and slow growth. Patience is. Uh, but it's, it's, the, it's the slow development and you know that you, you can't push the river in this case. And we are actually going very quickly towards a, a, a revelation, basically the, the breakthrough. So you've been pushing for all of this you know, since you hit this challenge. Slowly you've been moving towards, you know, slogging towards this breakthrough that you've been waiting for. Now this is very, very fast. This is almost immediate. That having been said, I don't I want to give you a little bit more uh, comfort towards what we're going towards the, the timing on this. So between now and you hitting this breakthrough, which is, it was right after uh, Ivaz here, so it isn't going to be very long, but just to comfort you on your way, just to show what's going to be between now and then, let's throw down a couple more runes. Okay. so. Your next step between now where you're building, you're slogging through what needs to be done before you get to this breakthrough, you're going to have a moment where you're actually going to feel fairly good. It, you're going to see the results of your efforts. You're going to feel worthy. You're going to feel wealthy and worthy about it. Whether or not that's money or whether it's just your feelings of worth, you know, that's going to vary. However, this is Fehu. It's the rune of cattle, but it's the rune of wealth and worth. And so between now where you're slogging and the breakthrough that is inevitable, um, there is going to be a moment where you're going to start to feel pretty good. You're going to feel worthy. You're going to feel, okay, good. I, I ha I'm, I'm amassing what I need to support me to get to this breakthrough. What's going to help here is here you have been drawing down your energy from where you feel comfortable, where you feel at home. On this next step here, it's you're starting to enjoy the journey. You're actually this is it's no longer become a, so much of a slog as it is a journey. You're you're enjoying the journey you're on, and you're seeing the worth of it, and this is helping to feed into the feelings of worth. Now, what won't help is we have count as reverse. Oh, sorry, ride the reverse riding rune has to do with the journey, directed journey. Um, what won't help here we have Kaunas. Kaunas is the rune of fire. Usually it's a, a ember and it goes to a blaze. This is reversed and it's on the lower line. So it's something that isn't going to help you. And what I see this as in this case is you're focusing on this, you're focusing on this journey, you're focusing on this path. You're going to feel like your options that you're focusing on are really, really narrow. You're going to miss other things that used to not so much occupy your time, but that used to give you delight along the way. And you've had to sort of forego all this while you're doing this. That might drag you down if you let it. 
Um, but once again, you are enjoying the journey. You're getting a lot of energy from just basically keeping connected with what keeps you feeling at home. So just keep pushing forward, keep, keep moving forward, and you will get to this breakthrough. I promise. The runes promise. It's a cool thing. Yeah. So good luck on all of this. That is your answer for question number one. See you again next time. Bye! Hello, question number two. We have this question which has to do with Pertho, the rune of the lot box. So a surprise, um, not necessarily one that you were hoping for, but a surprise and it's your fate and let's see what the runes have to say about this problem question or concern about Pertho. So I'm going to start by drawing a few runes around this one. Uh, one is going to show you what led up to this. Ooh. One is going to show what's going to help, one is going to show what isn't going to help, and one is going to show what your next step on the path is going to be. And it wants to tell me which one it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, so leading up to this moment of surprise, you weren't expecting this, but this is your current fate. <laughs> we have Ingvaz. Ingvaz is Ing's rune. Ing is another word for, another name for Frey. Frey is the fertility god. And Ingvaz speaks of uh, active creation, yang creation, yang creativity, basically actively creating something. So it looks like you were pretty busy bringing something into being, basically. You were bi really busy working on something. Maybe this was just your life path. You had everything under control. You were controlling it. And now something has happened out of the blue, which is a surprise. And now what do you do? Well, here's what you do. <laughs> the runes uh, are saying that what will help is represented here by Barkana. Now, Barkana is the birch tree rune. It's actually the exact opposite of Ingvaz. Burkana has to do with birth, it has to do with yin creation, yin creativity, uh, and new beginnings. And it basically, as opposed to everything under control creating, this is the kind of creating where you plant a seed and it basically creates itself. So it's a very different mindset that's going to get you out of this moment. Uh, you've been very, very in control of creating what you've been working on. And now, thanks to this surprise, the only way out of this is not to do that. You're going to have to let things develop in their own way. You're going to have to, well, the runes are suggesting that in this case, what's going to get you over is A, see it as a new beginning, uh, see it as an opportunity for a birthing of something new, and to really turn your attention on letting something develop naturally, very, very organically. Now what won't help is this moment has really felt like it's it's really challenged you. This is Therizaz, it's the rune of thorn and giant and challenges and gateway and it is reversed on the lower line. So it's a really, it feels like an insurmountable challenge and that's understandable because this is what you're used to, is having everything under control, really creating what's what's going forward. And now, ta-da, this surprise. Um, so you can't really go forward the way that you're used to, and this is going to feel really, really challenging for you. Try not to worry about that. Bring yourself back up to the point where you're just going to let this develop. You're going to let it grow and develop with its own, aha, with its own way. It, it's, it's going to have its own way of growing and developing. So what's going to help that is we have lagus. Lagus is the rune of emotion, intuition, it's a lake basically, so all the, all the water association stuff, um, heart, it is reversed but it's on the very very highest line. So I'm going to read this a couple ways. One, it what's going to help what's going to help is trying and not to let your emotions get the better better of you in this case, um, which is going to definitely help because you're going to be stressed, need to control. Uh, you actually don't at this point, just turn off that uh, stress emotion thing if you can. Let that feed into just enjoying watching the thing grow and develop. What isn't going to help, what isn't going to help is you're still focused on this moment where the surprise happened. This is Dagas, it's the rune of breakthrough, it's the rune of inarguable revelation. 
this happened, you can't argue with it, and this is going to continue to feel like, oh my gosh, this challenge is too much for me. It's really not. Um, just take a breath. Oh, I said I was going to read this a couple ways, and the other way I was going to read this is, uh, seek your inner heart. Just basically know deep inside in your inner heart that this developing organically is the right way to move forward. So try not to let the fact that it's a challenge, it was a surprise, it's, it threw you for a loop. Try not to let that drag you down. Bring yourself back up to the enjoyment of watching the thing develop. And this will actually lead you out of it because your next step here is Kaunas. And Kaunas is the fire. It starts as a little uh, ember, grows into a blaze, and things will expand from here. You're, you're not going to be trapped in this moment. Things will move forward and expand. I'm going to throw down a few more. Oh, there's Rytho again in the same spot as the last reading. Sorry, the last reading I did, Rytho showed up exactly in the same spot, which is cool. It means, it, you know, it means a completely different thing here. Not so much, though because it still means you're going to enjoy the journey. And that's what's going to help you at this point when you're going to start to see things expand again. Because things, you know, you get surprised, you tighten up. And things are starting to expand out because you're enjoying watching things grow. And with that, you are also going to expand and grow. And this is moving you forward on the path. So Rido is saying the journey rune, you're going to enjoy the journey. That's actually going to help you a lot. What isn't going to help is represented here by Isa. Isa is the ice rune and it has to do with standstill and things frozen. Uh, sometimes with clarity, but that's not really going to be clarity on the lower lines. And this is all tying in with, I was going along just fine and now this happened and everything stopped and it's not moving forward the way I want it to and everything's stuck. It's not. It's not moving forward the way that you're used to where you're directing every single moment where you're controlling everything, which is what was going on before when you were in the state of Ingvaz. But it's an, it is still moving forward because we have natural growth happening and, and you're actually enjoying that at this point. So remind yourself, no, I'm actually enjoying this, watching what happens with this. And this will actually lead to, we have Othala reversed. Othala is the homeland rune. Um, it is reversed, but it's on the path line. And what I see this as is letting go of what no longer serves you at this point. Maybe you didn't need all of this structure. I mean, obviously a lot of it gave you comfort, which is good, keep that. But I think a lot of it, you're able to let go and move on much lighter from there. So this surprise was, even though it was a bit disruptive, a fairly good thing because it allows you to move forward in a lighter way. So that is your answer for question number two. Uh, I hope it was comforting and clarifying and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello, question number three. Uh, this is the question problem or con uh, problem or concern <laughs> that has to do with a uh, breakthrough. This is Dagaz. It's the rune of the dawn, the breakthrough of the day. It has to do with something that has burst into clarity in, in your life that you can't argue with. So let's see what this is about. I'm going to throw down some runes to show what led up to this, to show what's going to help with this, to show what isn't going to help with this, and to show what your next step on the path line is going to be. Okay, Ooh, there's Ivaz. I was wondering about that one. Okay, so leading up to this moment we have a moment of Uruz reverse. Now Uruz is the wild ox, it's the aurochs from the cave paintings, the great big old wild ox. Um, inherent strength, inherent health. It is reversed. I would see this, I, I'm going to read this a couple ways. It, it could be that you feel that your strength was upended, your health might have been upended. I'm actually going to throw in a couple runes about that. Let's have a look at what did that. Okay, well, the sun is helping. <laughs> I'm backing up, I'm backing up, just a bit. I just want to clarify Uru's here. So you were moving forward very eagerly. This is Tivaz, it's the warrior god tier, um, his rune, and it's upright, and he's moving on, and all of a sudden, bam, something happened to tip your cow. <laughs> this is maybe your your health or your sense of solidity or your sense of strength got upended at this point. Something 
stopped you in your tracks. And whether it was strength or health or just your solidity, you, you feel like you've been upended. What helped you move forward from there, and this is interesting because this is the sun and this is the dawn, is tapping into your source energy. It's like, okay, let's, let's stabilize. Let's get our equilibrium back. And you can do that by tapping into your source energy, which has brought you to this point where you've had a revelation, basically. What wasn't helping you in this moment where your wild ox got upended is shown by Ingvaz. Ingvaz is the fertility rune, well, fertility god rune, Frey. <laughs> and it had to do with a lot of control, a lot of active creation. It's in what that wasn't helping here. So it looks like what you were doing up to this point, you're, by, you can't really write it by forcing it. You have to just sort of, from where you are, tap into your source energy and let that get you back on your feet. What that has actually done is brought you to this point where you have this question about um, a breakthrough, maybe when will the sun rise again? And this inarguable truth that has revealed itself to you at this point. So what helps here is shown by Thurizaz. Thurizaz is the rune of the challenge. It's a thorn or a giant, and it is, it is upright in this spot. So it's basically, this is a challenge, but you recognize the challenge that it is and that you are fully able to face it. You are actually eager to face it. This is something that you're, you're capable of facing. It's tricky because what's on the other side of this, you don't know, but it's something you're up for. You're up for facing this challenge. What doesn't help is you're worried about how long this is going to take. You're worried about that you don't have the patience to wait this out. I'm actually going to throw down a couple more runes on this line because it is your central line and I really want to make sure we get this one completely clear. So we have helping with this challenge is you're pretty confident. This is Fehu reversed. It's uh, Fehu is the rune of wealth and worth. It's cattle. But it is reversed, but it's on the upper line, and that has to do with confidence. So you are really confident at this point. You're pretty sure, I mean, you're coming from, you were going gung-ho before this, and you were very strong and stable, and that got upended, but you had a strong connection to your source energy. So you do have a lot of confidence. You, you're very confident that you can face this challenge, and the door is open, basically. The gateway that this represents is open before you. So you're very confident that you can, you can face this, especially since you've seen this revelation and you know you can't argue with it, so why fight it? Just move forward. Just keep moving forward. You can face this challenge. What doesn't help the fact that it feels like it's taking a long time is this feeling of having been upended, you're concerned about your feelings of home state, your sort of comfort zone. This is Othala, it's the rune of the homeland. And you're, you're feeling like whatever you consider home is at stake. Um, it is a challenge. I'm sure you'll either meet this home again or an, an enhanced home moving forward. But either way, you have, you're, you're confident, you're able to face this challenge, and you're moving forward. Your next step here is Kaunas, and it's Kaunas reverse. So Kaunas is the room of the fire. It has to do with a, a little ember that grows into a big blaze. It is reversed on the path line, which says to me that you're going to be focusing very, very carefully. So once you step into the new ground after this challenge, you're going to be moving forward very carefully. You're going to be very focused on each step and making sure that you make the right steps. So what's going to help you at that point is represented here by Yera. Yera is the rune of the harvest. It basically means year. Uh, has to do with harvest and also time. So I'm going to read this a couple ways. First of all, when you get to this point where you're focusing very, very carefully on each, each, follow, each next step, you are already seeing the fruits of your labors. You're getting that feedback and you're like, okay, I know that this is working because I am seeing this, this, and this. So I know that. Secondly, you know, you, you really, and this goes with your confidence as well and your connection with your source energy. You know that this is just one of those, this too will pass kind of things. So you're very confident in that this is only a limited time thing that you're going to have to go through and you'll be fine. What doesn't help actually goes with the worries about this is taking too long, this is going to be too much of a slog. We have Issa, which is the ice rune. 
Um, ice is the root of standstill. And you're just feeling like things, what if things aren't moving? They feel like they're not moving. Why are they not moving? They really are. And if you, if you start to feel yourself dragged down at this point, just remind yourself, I am seeing results. I am actually seeing that I'm taking steps forward and I'm seeing proof of that. So try not to let this worry you, just remind yourself of the, the good that's coming of it. And what this leads to is we have Lagos and Lagos Upright on your path line. Lagos is the rune of well, the lake, so it has to do with everything that has to do with the water, mythically, which is emotion, intuition, and heart. You're going to feel like you're in a pretty good place at this point. You're going to be very grateful to have gotten to this point, and you're going to be very more very much more uh, emotionally stable at this point. Uh, you're going to feel you have better intuition, you're going to feel you have... Um, your, your heart's going to feel like it's in the right place at this point. So it's going to be a bit of a roller coaster, uh, well, a valley, <laughs> but you're going to get through it. It looks it looks good. Uh, you'll be on the other side of this moment in before you know it. So that is your reading. I hope it gave you some comfort and clarity and take care until next time. Bye!